please. You stop. You don't understand. Oh, no, please. Daddy, no. Get away from there. Oh, no, no, please. Why do you need a surrogate? Well, uh, four years ago, I miscarried, and shortly after, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Mm. I always knew that I wanted to have children, so I had my eggs frozen, and then they took out the ovaries and the tubes, and you name it. And then, just last month, I was told that I have one viable embryo left in the fridge, so this is my last shot. Are you married? Yeah, he's, he's excited about doing this. What's his name? What does he do? Jacob. He's a writer and a teacher. Jacob. Jacob Kelly. <laughs> Jacob Kelly, the novelist. <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> so, like we talked about in last semester's class, what your character does, particularly at the end of the story, spells out the meaning of the story. Miss McKendrick. Your ending, who does what to whom with which and why? Um, well, she, she kills the bad girl, but that's so cliche and my story sucks. Not so fast. What does your villain do? Remember, everyone, your villain is more important to the plot than your hero. So keep an eye on the bad girl. What else you got? Um, well, it's about this little boy. So there's a scene where the girl's in love with the guy. Yeah. Right? Right? Okay. So how do you show it? Well, I don't want to be obvious. No, it's okay. Please, be obvious. You all know Kate, right? Works in the front office. Right. So let's say your character does something like, and, and just help me demonstrate here, something like, I think this semester more than any other. The kids are, seem really, really engaged. You should hear some. Hi, Jacob. Hi. Hey. I um, wanted to tell you that everybody in the office thinks that you are one of the best teachers on campus. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Would you sign this? Sure. I'm excited to start reading it. If only you knew how much I needed to hear that right now. Well, are you working on anything now? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working on a, a new outline right now, so... Um, uh, truthfully, I, uh, I've sort of been blocked for a while lately. But, but I'll get back to it someday. Well, I'm sure whichever novel you do next will be amazing. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Hey, Sorry. hi. 
Oh, this is showing a house on the west side of the buyer. I was like, oh, man. Kate, you remember my wife, Allison? Uh, yes, hi, from the Christmas party. Yes, hi. Kate, good. How are you? Good. Um, how's the real estate? Sure. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I could do it. What? Mm. Forgive a man after he cheated on me. Jacob Kelly had an affair? Oh, you didn't know? Ugh. Yeah, he talked about it on TV. Happened about five years ago. With who? Mm. Some old girlfriend from college. You know, maybe I could forgive him. <laughs> Good looking man like that. <laughs> <laughs> So the cost is a little more than we thought. What are we talking about? All in, about ninety. Ninety thousand dollars? I thought it was going to be like fifteen. Well, your fifteen is the surrogate's fee, and then there's the fertility drugs and the IVF, and they got to transfer the embryo, and the, there's a lot. I mean, you know, we t we talked about this a year ago. Yeah. I, I know. I know. We suggested this before, but why don't we just get a friend to do it? Uh, okay. Who? <laughs> I mean, do you know someone? Well, no. Look, I really like this girl. Her name is Remy. We have a meeting with her tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. at the Carrier's Clinic. surrogate for my older sister three years ago and well I uh, I really loved being pregnant you know and uh, the feeling of having a life growing inside you it's I, <laughs> it's just indescribable and um, and I would want every woman to experience that and in my heart it goes out to women who can't and you know that's the main reason why I do this <laughs> and what what guarantee do we have that in and no offense, that, that Remy won't be out drinking and, and partying all night. Well, all of our surrogates are tested regularly. That won't be an issue. Okay. Besides, Remy has never been a party animal. Correct? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty boring. Yeah. Now, why don't the two of you go away, think about it, and when you've reached a decision, come back and we'll talk about it. Actually, we are ready to do this. Wow, good, great. Here you go. Wow. Where do we sign? <laughs> <laughs> That was quick, yeah. and uh, and I guess this is it. Hey, listen, we can give you a ride. Oh no, the metro's really close. Thank you, though. Sure. Yeah. And I guess we'll see you at the hospital next week. Okay, great. Well, um, I look forward to um, having our baby. Yes. There it is. <laughs> Put it right out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. it's nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Okay, bye.
Oh, come on, don't do this. I'm sorry. So how, how, how am I supposed to be excited about the thought of you carrying someone else's fetus inside of you? We need the money, Matt. I'm doing this for us. I know. So what do they do for a little? Well, um, she is a real estate agent. Mm -hmm. And he's a famous novelist. Really? Yeah. What's his name? <laughs> Jacob Kelly. <laughs> I have never heard of him. Okay, okay. I'm gonna shower. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Um, Nancy just texted me, she's back in town! She got a new cell phone and she wants to do something later tonight. See you at nine. <laughs> I'm Susan. Rumi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. No problem. <laughs> Do you come here a lot? Hi. Hey. <laughs> Are you waiting for someone? Yeah, a friend of mine. She's late. What about you? I just got a call. He changed his mind. Oh, no. Yeah. Online dating. That's what I get. <laughs> what are you drinking? Uh, juice mix. Really? Slow down, girl. <laughs> well, can I get you another one? We can celebrate my getting stood up. That's all right. No, come on. And I insist. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll be back. What can I get you? Uh, two juice mixes. Two? All right. Getting stood up. Yeah. <laughs> I think those guys over there want to dance with us. <laughs> oh no, I, I don't. Oh, don't come on. Yeah. You're at a club. No. You no, have to dance at a club. No, really. Thank you, but no. Totally safe. 
Oh, look at the Whoa! <laughs> no, this is this is not safe. Are you gonna call my boyfriend or not? Hey, Susan, <laughs> you're like me. You park half a mile from the club. Hey, let me buy you a coffee or something, huh? There's this wonderful little cafe right around the corner. I, I have to work tomorrow. At Wittendale? Yeah. How'd you know? Come on, one coffee, huh? You said you didn't have a boyfriend. I don't, but I am in love with someone. Does he know how lucky he is? Okay, well soon. Why do kids like it? <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe it's because the story is about something that I went through when I was a kid. You see, high school, college, things that we do at that time in our life that sort of define who we are later on in life. I believe that everyone has a story to tell. Everyone. everyone. Some events from, from their past that they feel the need to, to, to convey, convey to another person. person. Why? Loneliness. Loneliness. We all want someone, someone to understand who we are. I love you, Jacob Kelly. As soon as I received the news, I called you immediately. I'm so sorry. Was it suicide? The police don't think so. Preliminary toxicology uh, report found ecstasy in her system. Ecstasy? What kind of operation are you running here? Your girls are supposed to be completely sober. I can assure you that we did a complete background check, drug testing everything. I would never have given you her profile if I had seen anything in there that was wrong. Since we've already started this process, I think it's important that we find another surrogate that you both like. I have a few candidates here I'd like you to see. No, thank you. We're done here. I'll take my check back. Well, no, Mr. Kelly, please, just take a couple of more days to think about this. Okay, you give us our $10,000 or you're going to be hearing from our lawyer. I think it's best that you find another match. Just come on, let's go. You didn't have to blow up like that. Sorry, Nancy. Um, Re uh, Remy's dead. What? Last night after the club, uh, she went to the roof and somehow she fell. The police said that that, uh, that she took ecstasy. I think somebody forced it on her. Did you see anything? Did I, did I see anything? What, 
What do you mean? Yeah, you were with her last night, did, did No, Matt! I, I'm in San Francisco. I I haven't seen Remy. I, I haven't been to LA in over two years. I really thought that we had this whole thing figured out, you know? Makes you wonder if any of these agencies can be trusted at all. Well, have you thought about, I don't know, asking a friend to do it? Yeah, yeah, but Allison doesn't think we'll find anybody. Oh, well, sure you can. She just has to have had a baby before, right? Yes. Beth, you have a kid. What are you doing for the next nine months? Oh, oh no. Uh-uh. I am not going through that <laughs> Exactly. Thanks, though. I'll see you. See you. Okay. Do you have a second? Um, yeah, sure. I had a baby when I was 20. I could do it if you wanted me to. Um, when Jacob told me you were willing to do this, um, I, I was quite surprised. Well, I'm happy to help. So we did a background check. No criminal record. I called all three of the references you gave us and everyone had really great things to say about you. Well, that's good. <laughs> um, but, but when I checked your credit history, I noticed something um, kind of strange. Really? Kate, um, you have a, a credit line of close to a million dollars, which means you're worth a great deal of money. That's pretty unusual for someone your age. That, uh, that is because of my inheritance. My father passed away a few years ago. Look, I, I know that you don't know me very well, but when Jacob told me the story about what you've been through, Losing your baby, and then the cancer. I just, I felt like helping you is the right thing to do. Would you um, just give us a sec? Of course. We, we barely know her. We know her better than we know the last girl, and I'm not going back to one of those agencies. I don't know. I like the fact that she gave her baby up for adoption. That shows me that she wants what's best for the child. Listen, I know how badly you want this baby. And I do too. All right, I need to be straight with you. We put 12 embryos in the freezer. 11 of them didn't make it. We have one viable embryo, one chance to make this work. You gotta promise me you won't let us down. I won't. I... <laughs> All right. Let's make a baby. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hey, uh, we, we drew up this contract. You can just take it home oh. and, and take it off, okay? okay? Uh, Let's give it a... Let's take a picture of all three of us. Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, can you do it? Do you want me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Right there. Okay. okay. All right, like that. <laughs> okay, Kate. Now I'm going to extend the catheter through your cervix to the top of your uterus. Now it might be a little bit uncomfortable, but it should only take a minute. Take as much time as you want. I want to enjoy this.
eyes with some chick. Can you, uh, can you describe her? Brunette, short hair, hot body. I don't know, I can't get more specific than that. I get 20 or 30 of her in here every night. Was she with anybody else? Not really, no. But her, her friend, though, um, short hair, brunette girl, uh, there was this one guy hitting on her pretty hard. Uh, he comes in here every now and then. It's like an Iranian guy. So, did you find a cure for your writer's block? <laughs> Actually, I'll, uh, I'll be taking on more classes next semester, so there just isn't time to write another book. <laughs> hey, why don't you leave that, and why don't you go show Kate the nursery upstairs? Oh, Kate, wait till you see it. It's so cute. You should never stop writing. It's your gift to the world. You should be able to write all day long if you want to. I'm sorry, um... I just really, really enjoyed your book. That's all. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, we, um, we put it together a couple of years ago before I miscarried. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh. And these? Oh. Uh, Jacob actually built this crib. Well, do you want a boy or a girl? Well, hopefully just someone who likes pink. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys picked a name? Oh, it's my grandma's name. My mom actually made this. Oh, Allison, you have no idea how happy it makes me to see you so excited. Well, you are literally making our dreams come true, so. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, what's it like knowing pretty soon you're gonna be a mom? <laughs> it's, uh, it's as if, I already have this connection to her, even though I haven't even met her. I lay in bed at night dreaming about what it'll feel like to hold her. I've been waiting for years, but I, I know in my heart that everything's going to be wonderful. <laughs> Okay, ready? Yes. Okay. Smile. Mm -hmm. Smile. Gorgeous. Your turn. <laughs> I, you I have don't to do really. It. I Just don't. do it. Okay. Smile, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. Give me two seconds. <laughs> Quirky. Uh. All right, dessert. Okay, let's check this out. What do you have? Okay, ready? Yep. Okay. Look. <gasps> what? Oh, oh you got to check this out. It's cool, right? It's an app. I downloaded it. It's, it's makeyourbabiesface.com. Oh, my God. It's amazing. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I, I can email you a copy if you want. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. okay. Um, do you mind if I use the restroom? Yeah, of course. Thanks. <laughs>
a slow delivery. Thank you. <gasps> Who are these from? I have uh. no idea. No abnormalities that I can see. Blood flow's good. Everything looks normal. Couple months waiting around paid off, buddy. That's your guy, right down there, black shirt. So, uh, this girl that she was with, the bartender said she had dark hair? Yeah, 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 yeah. Her name was Susan. She was gorgeous, man. But she blew me off. I was about to drive home when I, uh, I saw her walk into her car. What kind of car? It's a blue Mazda hatchback. Oh, uh, you know what? She did have one of those employee parking stickers on her car. It was, uh, it's for a college. What was it, uh, Whitmore? Whittendale? Yeah, that was it. That was it. What is it? What's the matter? Nothing. You're not going to understand. Well, I so, just... Something's wrong. You, you can tell me. It's fine. You can talk I'm to fine. me. Now. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, no. why, why, don't you, why don't you sit down? No, I'll, I'll get you a glass of water. Do you okay. want to, yeah? Water is fine. Water is good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here you go. Take a set. Okay. Now, tell me what's the matter. You're, you're starting not, to scare me a little bit. You're not going to understand. I, I, Can I tell you? I gotta go. Kate, what? No. Wait, wait a second. No! Kate! Don't touch me! Kate! Kate. No! Kate! 
Leave me alone! Jacob, what, what's wrong with her? Where's she, where's she going? I, I, I have no idea. She came over here all upset. I, we... oh, is, she, is she all right? I mean... I, 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 I don't know. What do you do to her? Not, nothing. Nothing. I, I, I asked her what was the matter, but she wouldn't tell me. Oh, well, did you touch her? No. Well, why was she screaming, don't touch me, if you didn't touch her? I, I wasn't touching her, okay? I don't know. I kept asking her, and she wouldn't tell me what was going on. I don't know. Oh, God, I'll, I'll talk to her. The last thing that I wanted to do was upset you. That's why I haven't said anything about this. Tell me what happened. I want to know everything. <sighs> um, well, it started my first week on the job. There's things that he would say. I thought it was harmless. But then when I had the embryo transferred, he started emailing me. I see his emails. He hasn't been writing you. From his faculty address, not his personal. What did I say? Just chatting um, about the baby, how happy you were. And then he started getting romantic. I told him I didn't think it was appropriate for him to write those things, so I stopped. And then a few weeks ago, I got a huge bouquet of red roses delivered to me. And you're sure they were from him? The card said, from Jacob. This. He even asked me to meet him at a hotel last weekend. I want to see the emails. Hi, this message is for Jennifer. My name is Jacob Kelly, and I'm calling regarding a letter of recommendation that you wrote for Kate Randall. He wrote me about 10 times. I told him if he didn't knock it off, I was going to tell you. What were you doing at the house today? This morning at school, he asked me to come by. Allison, I swear, he said that you would be there. And when I got to your house, you weren't there. And that is when he tried to kiss me. I didn't do any of that. She is out of her mind. Then how do you explain this? Your credit card statement. Roses, $300. I, I, I didn't buy anybody flowers. Lingerie, $450. You spent more on that hotel than you spent on our entire honeymoon. Okay, she got a hold of my credit card number, oh, Ellen. Oh, God, come on. Don't treat me like an idiot. I read the emails. What emails? From the school website. Back and forth between you and Kate. What? No, I... I don't even use that. Nobody uses that website. Okay, I haven't even checked my profile in, in months. Kate says all of the teachers use it. Okay, well, I don't use it. When I want to talk to my students, I, I do it in class. Look, I, I didn't write any of those. Yeah, you did. I know your writing style. A lot of people know my writing style. Do you know how easy it is for, for a school employee to hack into my faculty email? Oh, that's how it happened. I, I don't know, she's, she's trying to make me look bad for some reason. And, and I had a feeling that I was wrong about her, but now I'm sure. I, I called back her references. I'm gonna talk to somebody that knows this woman. Just admit it. You're scared of being a father, aren't you? What? That's that's ridiculous. So you thought you'd treat yourself to one final personal bachelor party before getting serious and raising a child? Would you, would you please just, just listen to yourself right now? This please. is just like you and that old college girlfriend of yours from five years ago. First of all, it was seven years ago, and, and she wasn't my girlfriend in college. You'll never change. It's my fault. It's my fault for trusting you, but I want you out of this house. Allie, wait a sec. You go stay in a hotel. Apparently you can afford it. Allie, come on!
Chris Novels. Really? Yeah. What's his name? <laughs> Jacob Kelly. I have never heard of him. with a novelist, aren't you? You want to have his baby so bad you killed my girlfriend? Just to get the job, isn't that right? Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to talk, that's fine. Let's just call Jacob Kelly and see what he has to say about this, huh? This is Jacob. <laughs> Mr. Kelly. My name is Matt. I'm Remy's boyfriend. I got some information about your surrogate. <laughs> Hello? Are you there? Hi, this is Jacob Kelly. I guess we got disconnected. Um, call me back when you can, please. Thanks. I got a call from Matt. Do you know him by any chance, Kate? Remy's boyfriend? He called to tell me he had information about my surrogate. What do you think he was talking about, Kate? Leave me alone. Why did you hack into my email at school? Why, why did you write all of those things in my name? If you don't leave right now, I'm calling the police. You stole my credit card number and you went shopping. If anyone's gonna call the police here, it's gonna be me. Kate, you're pregnant with my kid. What, what are you thinking? What are you... Are you trying to ruin my marriage? Is that what's going on? Because I, I don't get it. I, I don't get any of it. I don't get why you want to hurt my wife. Who, by the way, thinks you two are pretty much best friends right now? Look, just tell me why you're doing this. What have I done to hurt you? Let go of me. Don't touch me. No, we're not done, Kate. We're not done. I am going to do whatever I have no! to do. No! Jacob, get out of here. Stop it. Just get out of my house. the hell are you looking at?
square feet. It's four bedrooms, three baths. Oh, excuse me one second. It's open. You can go on in. I'll meet you inside. Hey, Kate, what's up? Jacob came to my house and attacked me. He, he did what? <laughs> Let me guess. Kate called you. How could you do this? Well, it was easy. She deserved it. Have you lost your mind? Jacob, no one deserves to be beaten half to death. What? She just called me from the hospital, Jacob. Thirteen stitches. I mean, God, you could have hurt the baby. Wait, 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 what, what the hell are you talking about? You go to her house and, and beat her up? You've always had a temper, but I... Oh, okay, wait, stop. Allie, she's lying. Don't deny it. Okay, the neighbors saw you. I did not hit her. Look, not only is this woman insane, she's dangerous. What, what, what hospital is she? You stay away from Kate, all right? And you know what? You stay away from me too, you son of a bitch. Allie, are you? Allie, are you there? Yeah, that's good. <sighs> Kate. I... Oh my God, are you okay? Yeah. I. Uh, I'm so sorry that this happened. No, no, it's not your fault. How's the baby? Uh, they just did an ultrasound. Uh, everything is is good. Oh, thank God. I... I can't even believe that he would do something like this. It's my fault. I never should have told you that Jacob was infatuated with me. No. No, nothing is your fault. Okay. We just, we both need to stay away from him till the baby's born. I know that he's sorry for what he did. Don't worry, I told them that I fell down the stairs. I'm not going to press charges or anything. Oh, I forgot. Um, it's a boy. <laughs> it's a little baby boy. We we have to buy some more paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Store these at campus security for me. You can pick them up there. And I need you to shut down the following: his access card to the building, the parking pass, and the faculty. Beth. Email. Then call maintenance. What's going on? Hey, Professor Kelly. Um, I was wondering if you could read my short story. You're fired. What? Is that a joke? I mean, you can't possibly be serious. I... What'd you tell them, Kate? Kate, what, what did you tell them? Wow, you're good. Let, let, let me ask you something. Did you get somebody to punch you in the face, or were you able to do that all by yourself? You can leave now, Mr. Kelly. Okay, Beth, she's, she's a liar, okay? She's doing this to frame me. Beth, come on. You know what, Sean? Go ahead and put that under my desk because I'm going to be right back. And, and Dollar, yes, I would be very happy to read your short story. Yeah, I left you a message regarding a, a, a reference that you wrote for Kate Randall. Uh-huh. Yes, I, I need to talk to one of Kate's family members or, or, or anybody that's known Kate her whole life. I'd start with her dad's business. Oh, okay, her father's name is Edward? Yes. Edward Randall, and I'm sorry, what was the name of his company? It was a shipping company. I was Ed Randall's secretary for 10 years. When he died, new management took over. I was the first person they let go. Luckily, I found another job. Did, did you by any chance know his daughter, Kate? You mean Catherine? Of course. Ed talked about her all the time. Why? Well, uh, my wife and I hired her to be our surrogate, and now, now she's just... She's just causing all sorts of trouble, and I, I want to go to the police, but I don't, have, I don't have anything concrete to tell them. Sounds familiar. Catherine was a nightmare. She made her father so angry, he quit communicating with her entirely. Why? Why? Are you kidding? The baby. Because she gave the baby up for adoption? Adoption? Is that what she's saying? Her baby died. She said it was crib death, but I could tell by the way that Edward talked about it, he didn't believe her. And then there was all that business with, with the will and, and his estate and the lawyers. 
She screwed over everybody, me included. Would you be willing to tell the story to my wife? All right. Yes, thank you. So, you believe me now? No. She's just bitter. I mean, Kate got all of her father's inheritance, and this secretary lady didn't get anything. What do I have to do to convince you, Allie? Why would Kate kill her own baby? It just, it doesn't make any sense. Well, why would she beat herself up to get me fired? None of what she's doing makes any sense. Look, and, and, and that's not the only thing, okay? Last night, I got a phone call from a guy named Matt, said he was Remy's boyfriend. Said he had information about our surrogate, and then the line went dead. I called him back, and there was no answer. So, so go to the police. Uh, and tell them what? What What proof do I have? I have nothing. Allie, just look at me, please. Just, just look at me. I'm your husband. Okay. I'm, I'm the guy that you fell in love with 16 years ago. I'm, I'm, I'm the guy that still loves you right now, no matter how much you hate me in this moment. Why won't you believe me? Congratulations. You took away most of it, didn't you? I mean, my wife, my job. I suppose what's next is you call the cops and you take away my freedom, but... But before you do that, I just, I just have one little request. I, I want to know why. Please, why? Please. I read Blackberry Winter over a hundred times. It changed my life. Jacob, it changed everything. And the first time I saw you on television, I knew you were my soulmate. Alexandra. <laughs> yes. It's my pen name. I'm going to show you something. You. <laughs> I wrote you every two days for six years straight. Even when the letters came back, I didn't lose hope that someday, someday you would write me back. When my father died, I had to find you. I got a job at Wittendale just so I could be close to you. I'm sorry I had to get you in so much trouble, but it was the only way for us to be together. Jacob, you're free. Allison left you. Besides, she can't give you babies. I can. And you don't have to teach anymore. I liberated you from that awful job. We can live together in my father's mansion. It's up in the mountains. It's so far away. Nobody will bother us. Jacob. We can have this baby that I'm carrying. And then at night, we can make our own. Hi, Kate. Punch you in the nose, but I'm afraid you'd enjoy it. What actually happened to Remy? Why did her boyfriend call Jacob? Maybe she didn't accidentally fall from that building? I 
I think we need to talk to the cops. No! No! Okay. If you call the police, I will kill this baby. Okay. If you try to trick me or have me arrested, I don't care. I'll, I'll drink rat poison. I'll take a coat hanger to it. Okay. I don't care. I will do whatever it takes, but I will not let this baby live. You would actually kill yourself and my child. If I can't get Jacob Kelly to love me, what is the point of living? Oh, Kate, honey, you need help. I don't need anyone to help! <gasps> okay, get out of my house. Leave! Go! go, go, go. go. <gasps> What happens if, if we turn her into the police? Well, they'll take her into custody, but they can't watch her 24 hours a day. She can still make good on her threat to harm the baby, even in jail. Are, are you saying there's, there's nothing that we can do? Look, definitely gather as much of a paper trail as you can. Credit card statements, emails, all of that. It'll help us if we decide to sue her later. I'm sorry. But I think the only options you have are to go to the police and accept the consequences, or you can try to work something out with her. You okay? I could just do what she wants. Hmm? She's in love with you, so we we could just play along with it until she delivers. Oh, it's like it's, it's it's like three in the morning. No, listen to me. You could you could go live with her, and and I could follow you, and and stay in a, a camper or, or rent a cabin or something, and and then when she gives birth, we 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 take the baby from her and. Uh, and we turn her into the cops. Right? You expect me to go live with her? Because a couple days ago you were ready to divorce me because you thought I was cheating on you. I mean, I don't like the idea, but I'm willing to, I don't know, make the sacrifice in order to save our child. Your sacrifice? I hate this woman. We cannot let her kill our baby. We have to keep tabs on her. One of us has to be watching her 24-7. What are you doing here? I'm yours. I don't believe you. Allison is done with me. She blames me for bringing you into our lives. Oh, yeah? You're carrying the only viable embryo, taking away her last chance of becoming a mother, and I let you do it. She's never going to forgive me. You're lying. I'm here, aren't I? Do you think that you could love me after everything I've done? I'll try. Try now. There'll be plenty of time for that later.
Can I borrow your cell phone? What for? Please, baby. We only need mine. I've prepared a nursery and a playroom for the baby. It's just down the hall. The internet and landline have been disconnected too, so... You can concentrate on your writing and we can be left alone. Sometimes I need the internet to do research. My father has a huge library. You can use that. You certainly thought of everything. There's something else I want to show you. How's the writing going? Good. All right. Can I read some pages? Sure. I think the woman should live. Oh. Oh, I like that she dies. Yeah, but this scene is so violent. I like that it's violent. In fact, I was going to make her death even more violent on my next pass. I don't believe your main character. Okay. What don't you believe? What if... What if she were 17 years old, senior in high school? No, she's 21. She's 17. She's practically a child. Come here, sweetheart. What if her father's friend, a business partner, let's say, wanted her to be his lover? And this is Tony. Heard so much about you, Catherine. One day. Her dad leaves her alone with this friend. And the friend forces her to have sex with him. No! Tony, stop! So he rapes her. Yeah. He rapes her. Good girl. Gets her pregnant. She wants an abortion. But daddy says no. He says that if she gets an abortion, he will write her out of the family fortune. So she carries the baby for nine incredibly painful months. Thinking, of course, that she can just give the baby up for adoption, be done with all this. But no. 
Daddy wants her to keep the baby. Wants her to live with his best friend. Okay. This is not the end of the world. It Just... is for me. You see, it's a business deal. In her father's eyes, she is just a piece of property to be traded for majority share in a competing company. So she kills the baby. She has to. It's the only thing that she can do to get herself out of the situation, to be free. When daddy looks into the crib, he sees his grandchild dead. He freaks out. Kate, you come here right now. He tries to kill the main character. But she gets away. Daddy cuts her out of the will. She is smart. On the night of his death, she gets a hold of the one executed copy of the new will. And she shreds it. Daddy's lawyers have to resort to the old will, where she gets it all. In the end, she wins. Big. That, Mr. Kelly, is a great story. And I want you to write it. My dearest Allison, I can't tell you how much I miss you. Knowing that you're nearby helps me get through this. I think of you every waking moment, and I can't wait until this is over. I adore you so much, even this writer can't find the words. Love, Jacob. Sexy, world famous author whom I love so very much. Ugh, we're so close to this whole thing being over. Been watching the calendar and she's in her final two weeks. As for me, I'm doing okay. I'm mostly worried about you. Just be careful. I love you, Allie. Jacob! Where is it? Where's what? The story I told you? About the 17-year-old girl? I told you to write it and you haven't even started. I will. Relax. What's wrong? You don't think it's a good story? I think it's a sad story. Then why haven't you started to write it? Why haven't you started writing it? Answer me! Because it's not my story. It's your story and it's true, isn't it? No, I made it up! I talked to your dad's secretary, Kate. You killed your baby. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You know you did. Why? Why did you do it? Because that man raped me. And my father forced me to keep the baby. You could have walked away, Kate. You didn't have to kill that child. But you did because you hated your father and now you're feeling guilty about it so you want me to write your story and make you look like a hero but I'm not gonna do that because you're not a hero. You're a coward and you're a murderer. Please wait. I need you. I need you to write my story. 
No one will listen to me. But they'll listen to you. They will listen to Jacob Kelly. Do what I say, or you know exactly what I will do. Oh, yes. That's the girl I love. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Making you famous. Where are you going? I'm just, I'm just taking out the trash. It's not very full. Can it wait till tomorrow? Well, it's such a nice house. I'm just trying to keep it clean. Okay, well, I'll come with you. It's beautiful weather. Let me, let me grab my shoes. No, it's just going to take a second. And, and I finished the first chapter, so I want to I come back and show you. Okay, great. Okay, I finished the first chapter. You want to read it? I made the changes that you suggested, and I actually think that you're really going to like it. <laughs> You gotta unlock this right now. Why? Are you, are you okay? What's wrong? What's wrong? So you can write her more love letters? My dearest Allison, the longer I'm away from you, the more I realize how much you mean to me. Blah, 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 blah. Uh. This is the worst thing you have ever written. You know why? Because it's a lie. She's still controlling you, Jacob. She's forcing you to write these letters and hide them out in the wall, isn't she? You need to calm down. You need to realize you don't love her anymore. You love me. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm so sorry. She is the problem here, not you. Okay. You just relax, stay here. And when I get back, this little problem of ours will be dead and gone. Kate! Kate! Kate, no! Kate, wait! Come back! Kate! Kate!
थे You are gonna die right now, you understand? Now push! Push! Yes! Yes, harder! Harder, Kate, you need to rest. Okay, don't don't do it. The sh sheriff will be here any minute. Uh, Kate. Uh, Kate. Uh, Kate, it's a, it's over. Kate. That's, that's her, that's Kate Randall. She needs help. Miss Randall. Miss Randall. 
all right? Yeah. You want to tell me what happened? You tell it.